Moshe Levy, whose brother-in-law is being held captive by Hamas. Moshe, first of all, thank you so much for giving us some of your time. What was your reaction to what President Biden had to say last night about the hostages and about the war there? I think uh, overwhelmingly since the first day of the conflict, President Biden and his administration have been supportive of the families of hostages. Uh, they are sending clear message that they're behind um, bringing home our loved ones, our family members. They're in direct contact with us. There were guests among the families yesterday in the speech and also uh, one of the hostages who returned uh, from captivity, Mia Shem, attended. I wish he mentioned them by name. I think that was one thing that was lacking uh, in the speech. But other than that, it's important that he kept talking about it and kept putting the blame that the deal is not, has not been reached yet because of Hamas. You know, and Moshe, your brother-in-law, Omri, is being held captive in Gaza. Do you have any update on his status? I've been asked that a lot by, by friends, colleagues, and of course, in every interview or meeting I'm holding. And sadly, the answer is no. Hamas refuses to provide any proof of life of the hostages. Uh, there's still 134 hostages remaining in captivity. They're not allowing the ICIC to visit them. And so I have no update. The last we know is that in late November, the previous round of uh, release of hostages through a negotiation, negotiated agreement, some of them reported that they saw Mri in, in the tunnels, that is, is well, um, as much as possible, given the conditions. But it's been so long since then, five months of, of being in, in captivity, under torture, abuse, um, deprivation of food and water, potential sexual violence, we, we really need them home as soon as possible. Absolutely. And this nightmare started October 7th. You know, as you just mentioned, five months later, it's now we've passed March 7th. We're now at March 8th. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is that the world will continue to move on, um, that it will, there will be normalization of the fact that a terrorist organization can simply invade a sovereign nation, uh, kidnap its citizens, and uh, residents and even foreign tourists and hold them captive for so long. We can't normalize this behavior. We can't normalize the existence of organizations, radical organizations like Hamas. And I fear for those who are still in captivity, especially um, the women. Today is International Women's Day. There are still 19 women in captivity. Uh, last week, the UN, uh, pub UN published a report about the rape and sexual violence they experienced on October 7, Israeli women experienced on October 7, and are experiencing in captivity. We need to send a strong message. The international community need to send a strong message to free them. Uh, and I'm meeting the Secretary General of the UN in a few hours, and I will emphasize to him that the United Nations need to bring all nations together, condemn Hamas, and find a solution to this conflict. You know, and Moshe, so many people talk about this. Obviously, uh, it's a concern for so many, but it's very different for the families who are affected. Do you think enough is being done to get back the hostages by Israel, by the U.S., by other allies? I think our role as families is to pressure the policymakers to ensure that the hostages remain at the top of their agenda. Um, I think we've succeeded to do that to a large extent in Israel through demonstrations, through rallies, through meeting our elected officials, from the prime minister to members of the war cabinet and other ministers, and of course, members of the parliament, the Knesset. We keep doing that, keep mobilizing the public. I think Israel is doing what is expected, I expect them to do, which is negotiating, finding agreement uh, to bring them home. I think the US has been doing a lot and so many other allies of Israel, like France, other members of the European Union. But we need to find ways to pressure uh, Hamas to agree to an agreement that will bring home the hostages. The key is with Qatar, with Egypt, and I hope uh, world leaders will continue to do so in order to force Hamas to agree to a ceasefire in order to bring the hostages home. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.